The phrase, life and death are two sides of the same coin, is used frequently. We must accept death as a part of embracing life. But what if someone is mistakenly buried alive or pronounced dead and then discovers they were six feet underground? Essie Dunbar, a South Carolinian who was buried alive, is a prime example of how this actually transpired. Essie Dunbar, a South Carolina lady in her 30s, had an epileptic attack in the summer of 1915. She collapsed to the ground and lost consciousness. Her family requested an examination from Dr. Briggs of Blackville because they were unsure of what to do. Essie was not breathing or showing any evidence of a pulse when Dr. Briggs performed the examination. He declared her dead, and her family immediately began planning the funeral. The family wished to bury her right away since back then, burial arrangements were made fast. However, Essie's sister was out of town and could only come the following morning. The distraught family decided to hold Essie's burial the following day so that her sister could attend. Essie's remains were placed in a wooden coffin the day of the burial. The burial service was conducted by three pastors, thus it lasted longer than normal. Essie Dunbar's coffin was finally lowered into the six feet deep hole and covered with soil because her sister had not arrived yet. Essie's sister came over not long after. She asked the clergy to dig up her sister's grave so she could say goodbye to Essie and pay her respects. The preachers agreed to her request after giving it some deliberation, and the casket was brought up. But everyone was shocked by what they saw when they unscrewed and opened the casket lid. Essie Dunbar was sitting there, looking at her sister and everyone else with a smile on her face. Essie would have been buried alive in her tomb had it not been for her sister's tardy arrival. But instead of her loved ones embracing her and welcoming her back, complete chaos ensued. The three preachers struggled to escape the grave after falling into it in shock. In their haste to flee, two of them even stomped the third and shortest one, breaking three of his ribs in the process. Others who had been at the burial also fled frantically, believing Essie was a ghost who had come back to life. Essie returned to the town on her own and caused a commotion once more. Even though her family and friends adored her, they had never experienced anything like what they were seeing right in front of them. After Essie Dunbar emerged from the grave, they were in utter astonishment and amazement, which persisted for many years. Essie was hailed as the lady who defeated death throughout the course of the following few years, but many people persisted in their beliefs that she was a zombie or a victim of a curse and viewed her with distrust. Essie Dunbar continued to live for a further 47 years before finally dying on May 22, 1962, at the age of 77. As opposed to her first, death, which was caused by a seizure, this one was natural. Essie was said to have survived longer than Dr. Briggs, who had declared her dead 40 years earlier.